today we are going to make a cinnamon roll cake. I got this particular recipe off of a website called Begin With Butter. I suggest that you visit Shawnee's website because she's got some awesome cake recipes. So today I have three gadgets that I'll be using in order to assist me with this cake. The first one is a oven thermometer. The reason that this oven thermometer is so important is because you have to bake this cake at 335 degrees. Most ovens won't reach that particular temperature, so Shawnee suggests that you use an oven thermometer in order to make sure that your oven is at the perfect temperature. Another gadget that I'll be using today is a cake thermometer. Long time ago, my grandmother would just no, by eyesight, when her cakes are done, I do not have that gift. So therefore, I have a cake thermometer. And I'll show you, when we take our cake out of the oven, how we know it's done. And another gadget that I'll be using today is my handy dandy scale. The reason that I use this scale is to save time. This recipe has a lot of steps, so I suggest if you decide to Make this particular cake that you measure all of your ingredients before so that you don't get frustrated running around the kitchen. So let's get started. Cinnamon roll cake is we're gonna make our filling. In the filling, we've got cream cheese, egg, cinnamon, brown sugar, salt, and vanilla extract. You wanna make sure when preparing this cake that all of your dairy products, including your eggs, are at room temperature. In order to prepare our filling, we're going to cream together our cream cheese and all of our remaining ingredients. And for this, you can use a hand mixer or you can use a stand mixer. I just find this part is easier just using your hand mixer. And just like that, we're done with our filling. See that? All right, let's start on our batter. For our batter, we're gonna add our all-purpose flour, baking soda, salt, eggs, vanilla extract, butter, sour cream, and cream cheese. Now, when it comes to your eggs, you need six eggs for this recipe. So you wanna make sure that you crack your eggs one at a time in a separate bowl before you add them to the container that you're gonna to add to your batter because if you add them all to your container at one time and one of your eggs is bad, you're ruining your batter. So I suggest that you do it one at a time. So let's get started on our batter. Now that our cream cheese and our butter has mixed together, we are going to add our granulated sugar and we are going to mix this until it's smooth and creamy for approximately 10 to 13, 13 minutes. I think this is the consistency that I like. Let me show you what it looks like. See that? Nice and fluffy. So now we're going to add our eggs one at a time, making sure that it's well incorporated before we add our next egg. Next, we're gonna add our flour. Now, when making a cake, you wanna start with your dry and end with your dry. So we're gonna add half of the flour, then we're going to add half of our sour cream. Well, actually, we're gonna add all of our sour cream, sorry about that. And then we'll add the rest of the flour, making sure that it's all incorporated, scraping the sides of the bowl and also the bottom of the bowl, just to make sure that everything mix in well. It's time to assemble our cake. So this is what our cake batter is looking like. And we are going to add our cinnamon roll filling to the cake batter. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. But before we do that, I wanna tell you about these two cake pans. So this cake pan, this is one of my new favorites. I think I purchased this one from Sur La Table 
We no longer have that store here in our city, but you can order this one online. And I love saying it that way because that's the way my sister and I say it. We don't say sur la table. We say sur la table. <laughs> and so this particular pan, this cake pan means the world to me. This was my grandmother's cake pan. This is the cake pan that I learned how to make um, all of my cake. This is where my love of baking came from. The biscuits and also making homemade cakes with my grandmother. This cake pan, I, it's older than me. Yeah, I'm sure it's older than me. Um, just, I'll give you a little story uh, right quick. When I was a little girl and my grandmother was uh, baking cakes in her home, her house um, was up off the ground. So when my grandmother was baking cakes, we could not move. We could not move. No, you had to go sit down in the den and be quiet as a church mouse so that you would not cause the cake to fall. So what I'm doing right here, I'm adding half of my cake batter to my already prepared cake pan. I've sprayed it with um, a baking spray so that my cake won't stick. So I'm gonna add half of my cake batter to the pan and then I'm going to add my filling. Okay, we've got half of it added to the pan and what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to gently hit the sides of the pan to get out any air bubbles. There you go. And now we'll add our filling. According to the directions, when adding the filling to your dough, your cake batter, I'm sorry, you want to make sure that it does not touch the sides of your cake tin. So just add it just a little scoop at a time to your cake batter. And I will show you in a moment what that looks like. Guys, I was just thinking about another fond memory. Licking the batter from the bowl. Yes, yes, yes. You can't do that today because of salmonella. But I remember my grandmother just just, we would just sit in the kitchen waiting, waiting in anticipation for her to say that it was okay for us to lick the bowl. And baby, we would lick that bowl clean. So I'm just adding the other portion. I forgot to show you. I forgot to show you what it looked like. Sorry about that. See, we've got half of our batter. And then now I'm putting the second half. See that? Okay. We'll add the rest on top and then we are going to place this in our preheated oven. And um, truth moment, uh, my oven, I could not set it for 320, 335 like the recipe called for. I actually had to put the temperature at 345 in order for my oven to reach 335. So that's why that thermometer is so important. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to gently hit the sides of our cake pan just a little to make sure we don't have any air bubbles. And we are going to bake this for approximately 60 to 70 minutes. But that's where my cake tester is gonna come in handy because I don't have to eye this to see whether or not it's done. I can use my cake tester. This particular recipe calls for a simple syrup. We're simply gonna add water, salt, sugar, cinnamon, and after that comes to a boil and our sugar is dissolved, we're gonna remove it from the heat, add our vanilla, and there you have it, simple syrup. And while our cake is finishing up, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our glaze. We're gonna use confectionery sugar, cream cheese, room temperature, milk, and a little vanilla. And we're just gonna blend that until smooth. And just like that, our cake is done. Now, I want you to look at something for me. Can you see the cake tester? You see it's saying that it's done. It's nice and golden brown. 
and it smells delicious. We've allowed our cake to cool for about 10 minutes, so we'll go ahead and flip it over. So what I'm gonna do is the easiest way to do that. And here we go. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, and it smells delicious. So I'll go ahead and brush the simple syrup on to the cake. And I've got a plate underneath just so it won't get messy. And we're going to just brush this all over the cake. And once the cake has completely cooled, then we will add our glaze. And as you see, it was very helpful to put that plate underneath. I suggest you do that to catch the excess. And there you have it. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. It smells like a cinnamon roll. And we're gonna let that cool completely. And then we are going to add our glaze and then we're gonna taste test. Our cake is completely cooled and now we're gonna add our glaze. We're gonna go ahead and add the glaze all around our cake. And then, of course, you know what's next, the taste test. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. That way I know you enjoy what I'm doing and I'll keep making videos. My videos are released every Wednesday at 11.45. So if you turn on your notifications, you'll get a notification that a video has been released and you can see what I am cooking up that week. I guarantee you it's gonna take sugar. And there you have it, a cinnamon roll cake. Now it's time for my favorite part. Taste test. Look at the cinnamon swirl in the middle. See that? Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. I cut another piece <laughs> because the first piece that I cut was so small, you couldn't see the cinnamon swirl. Okay, here we go. It looks really moist. Okay, this tastes like a cinnamon roll. Guys, you have got to try this cake. Don't be afraid. Bake, bake, bake. Thank you again for joining me in my kitchen. Remember, I drop a video every Wednesday at 1145. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. How am I going to know you like my channel if you don't subscribe? Bye.